Good morning. Yesterday we talked about a wisdom that is derived out of selfish ambition, and it led to disorder as well as vile practice. This morning we're going to look at the opposite. We're going to look at a wisdom that's a, more of a heavenly wisdom instead of an earthly wisdom, and it's derived out of love. We're still in the book of James. We're going to continue in chapter 3. You know, look at verse 17. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. What James is discussing here is instead of, like we talked about yesterday, instead of having a wisdom where you are the centerfold of it all, you know, how does Shane profit, um, what is in it for Shane, and in my best interest, it's more so what's the best interest of others. How does this show God's love to somebody? How does this help further God's kingdom? So it's a wisdom that basically takes me out of the centerpiece of it and includes everyone else's best interest, which is an interesting thought. It's hard to do sometimes because we're hardwired for our survival, for our best. But realistically, we strive or we thrive better when we have others as our main interest. Also, it just better shows God's love to those around us, and it's a better witness of the gospel. So I encourage you today to, to examine the way you're interacting with others, the decisions you're making. Are your decisions based strictly on what's best for you, or are you considering what might be best for God and his people? I challenge you to do that today. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow.